Hello, welcome to some work problems and translations. Alright, now for this, I'm going to assume you know what is a matrix. I'm going to assume you know how to do arithmetic operations. That is add, subtract, divide, multiply. I'm also going to assume you know the standard formula, which is object plus translation is equal to image. Alright, and this is what we are going to manipulate here. Alright, because with the with that standard result, you can easily come and get the translation vector itself. Alright, so by saying object plus translation is equal to image, alright, to rearrange this to give you a translation is equal to image minus object. Alright, so let's get on to some root problems. So these are some prior knowledge that you need to know beforehand. Alright, so let's get on to some root problems involving this. Alright, so this wooded problem is that you have the vertices of parallelograms PQRS are 1141523 and 23 respectively, which means that you are supplied with the coordinates of PQRS respectively. Respectively implies that coordinate P is 1, 1, coordinate Q is 4, 1, coordinate R is 5, 3, and coordinate S is 2, 3. The term of the vertices in parallelogram P dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash, on this translation P. Alright, so what is supposed Alright, so what has been supplied to us in this problem? The coordinates of P, Q, R, and S, and the translation itself. That is the translation matrix minus 3, 5. Alright, so what are the steps involved to solve this? Alright, so what we want to get? The coordinates of the new image. Alright, so what are the steps involved? So we're going to use object plus translation to get the image. And then from here, we're going to place all the coordinates of the object, which is PQRS, into one big matrix. We have an object matrix. So you have put one one four one five three two three into our matrix, right? Where the horizontal row represents x and your second row represents y. So row one is your x coordinates and row two is your y coordinates. And then from there, you're going to add this to the t matrix, which is this one, right? And from there, you're going to add the two matrices and simplify, and that is going to become your answer. Alright, so object plus translation is called image. Put the matrix PQRS to one big matrix. Alright, all this coordinates here will be into your PQRS into one big matrix. And add this to your translation matrix here. And you're going to give us the image matrix. Alright, so now you're going to perform uh, matrix addition here. So you have 1 minus 3, 4 minus 3, 5 minus 3, 2 minus 3, 1 minus 5, 1 minus 5, 3 minus 5, and 3 minus 5. Alright, simplify this. And with this, we get this result in matrix here. So therefore, the point is P dash is minus 2, 4. Point is Q dash is 1, 4. See that here? 1, 4. Coordinates R dash is really 2 minus 2. Coordinates S dash is minus 1 minus 2. Notice how you read it vertically to produce the coordinate C. Alright? Alright. Moving on. Alright. Problem number 2. Alright. So in this question, we are asked. On graph paper to draw the triangle ABC with vertices A34, B23, and C14. So they're asking us to produce this, to produce a plot on our graph sheet. Alright? Then from there, we are asked to translate triangle. This symbol here means triangle. Alright? Translate triangle ABC using the vector T. Minus 5 feet. So the vector T represents a translation. 
Why? Because it asks us to translate using this vector. So your question is very specific. Right? And then the next part of the problem, denote this image A1, B1, C1. So we are asked to, to show the show this new image on our graph sheet as well. Alright? So then from there, we are asked to translate again this new image by using the vector t, 2, 3. Alright? So it's already two translations we are performing here. And we are required to show this on graph on a graph here. Yeah. Alright, so let's get these steps correct. I guess the, all right, so to recap, what are the steps involved? So step one, we going to draw the graph on graph paper. That is, we're going to see if A, B, and C. We're going to draw the disease A, B, and C on graph paper. Because we are asked to do this. All right. All right, step two, we're going to perform the translation. All right, we're going to obtain the coordinates of the new image A1, B1, C1. Now use an object first translation with an H. So you're going to make use of this. Here. Then I'm going to, when you get these image coordinates, you're going to draw this on a graph paper. Alright? Step 4. Using the coordinates of this new image, you're going to translate again by using another translation vector T. Right? By using the same object first translation as you put the image. Alright? This is going to produce a new set of coordinates then step five we're going to take these new coordinates and draw on our graph paper as well all right so this is an example of a double translation meaning that the translation is being done twice so this question is an example of a double translation meaning the translation is being done twice all right so this graph here represents the triangle abc all right, this represents here is a coordinate A, here is a coordinate B, here is a coordinate C. This is how it's supposed to look like on a graph sheet. All right, so now next up, we're going to perform the translation. All right, so to perform this translation, you're going to put all the coordinates of the object, which is A, B, and C, into one big matrix here. Add this to a translation matrix here. T. Perform the addition, pay attention to signs. This will produce the coordinates A1, B1, C1. That is the image coordinates. So image 1. Alright? And simplify this, get it to be minus 2, 6, minus 3, 5, minus 4, 6. Which means that the coordinates of A1 is minus 2, 6, B1 is minus 3, 5, and C1 is minus 4, 6. Alright? Alright, so we plot this on our graph sheet, and this is what it will look like. Here is the coordinate A1, here is the coordinate B1, here is the coordinate C1. So the shape is preserved. Alright? The same shape is preserved. It's still a triangle. Alright? No doubt about that. That's right, so the way it looks like on graph paper. So now we're going to perform the second translation. Alright, performing the second translation. They take these new coordinates, right? From, that is A1, B1, C1. Put it into one, just dump it into one big matrix. Alright? Row 1 represents your X coordinates here, row 2 represents your Y coordinates. Alright? I'm going to add this to your translation matrix 2, 3, and it's going to produce A2, B2, C2. Alright? So when you add this, when you perform the addition of this, you have minus 2 plus 2, minus 3 plus 2, minus 4 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 6 plus 3. This represents coordinates A2, B2, C2. Alright? So when you simplify this, you get 0, 9, minus 1, 8, minus 2, 9, is equal to A2, B2, C2. Which means that coordinates A2 is 0, 9, B2 is minus 1, 8, and C2 is minus 2, 9. This represents the second coordinates, second batch of coordinates. Alright, so we are actually performing two translations in this problem. Double translation. So, putting this on graph paper. 
All right, so illustrating the songs are people. This is what it looks like. Here. All right, so here's E2, E2, and C2. All right, so so we started off with this triangle here, this initial triangle, A1, B1, C1. All right. Here. And we started off with this initial triangle. So this represents the initial triangle we started here. After one translation, another for second triangle with new coordinates. And finally, we ended up with this last triangle here. All right. So as you notice, the same shape is preserved. All right. The only difference now are the coordinates. So two translations and we ended up with this final triangle here. Alright, so just to recap, we use object plus translation is equal to image. This is what we manipulated to get these new coordinates, these new points. Alright, so translation literally is moving an object. As you notice, the angles are preserved, the same shape is preserved, the main difference are the coordinates. Alright? So, thanks for listening. Hope you learned something out of this. Alright? Hope you have a nice day. Thanks.